Look, look, got it. There we go. All right. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Connect and Collaborate White Sand Self Care Group, where we provide education, resources, and connection to a wealth of professionals that can support you along on your self care journey. I am your host, Laura Cross. And I am so excited and happy to have with me today, Dr. Sherry Bainbridge. Uh, Dr. Sherry is a three-time author, a holistic doctor, hypnotherapist, intuitive, Reiki master, and speaker. She's a multiple trauma survivor and the owner of Holistic Collaboration. She is coming out with a most exciting book on energetic and physical nutrition, uh, publication will be at the end of this month, so you want to go to her website and make sure that you sign up for her email so you get notified, and we'll be putting that information in the comments after we're done here for you. Um, she's going to have a huge 24-hour Amazon flash sale where the book will be drastically reduced, so you'll definitely want to catch up on that. Um, she also sends great tips, recipes, and other helpful information, you know, one to two times a week when you uh, engage with her. So, Dr. Sherry, <laughs> I am so excited to have you here. Um, energetic and physical nutrition, what exactly is that about? We are 90% energy. That, that is who we are. Our body is within the energy. So when we like consume foods, as I talk about in the book, foods also have energy. In fact, you've got energy left in dehydrated foods. You've got energy left in cooked foods. But canned foods have no energy left in it. And it's scientific measurements. And that's provided in the book. In Eastern philosophy, and I'm trained in Western and tribal and Eastern uh, spiritual and healing philosophies around the world. This energetic part of the food feeds our energy and aids in the absorption of the nutrients within the food. And in our world, we have so much fake food, which has zero energy to it. It has very little, if any, nutrition. It has so much crap in it that it's just a tummy filler. It doesn't do anything for you. And I've spent a lifetime uh, being connected and very interested in nutrition and how to uh, keep my health up over a long time my whole life. I don't believe that most people will have to suffer if they were eating and taking care of their bodies and their energy. Energy also is thought. So the book talks about how our brain kind of works to get stuck in thinking so that others are can influence and manipulate and condition well we can condition and manipulate ourselves i've had over 35 surgeries to my mouth my jaw is destroyed four through c4 through seven in my neck my reconstructive shoulder surgery i could go all the way down my body according to western medicine i'm not supposed to function the spinal doctor says i should be 350 pounds on the couch the moment he told me that my defiant head went, oh, no, I won't. And I went into, I love research. I love learning. It's so exciting to learn new things. And especially if you come across truths that can not only help you, but to help other people. Uh, so there's truths about our real food that can be harmful if you don't understand the truth about it. One example would be spinach contains a goitrogen enzyme that blocks iodine to the thyroid. If you lightly cook it, and that includes dehydrating because it gets heated up, then it shuts that enzyme down. And there's a bunch of vegetables that have that in there. And in fact, there's one that you cannot shut down. Uh, and I'll let you just read the book and find out about that one. But the book is about, it's 310 pages. Uh, that includes part of the index. So 300 pages just packed full of information. It's anything and everything I can include in such a book to help other people as it has helped me. This 
this form and way of thinking, approaching your food as all through society and, and, and cultures and belief systems, food is a place of gathering, it's a place of connecting, and it's a spiritual behavior, which is energetic, right? Mm -hmm. So when we approach our food with reverence and gratefulness, uh, such as when I sit down to a plate of food, I always say in my head, thank you so much for giving up your life to be a part of mine. And I don't care if it's plant, tree, animal, they're all life forms, just different than we are. And even our own science is discovering that there's information you can get from trees. Plants scream when they're cut. And this has been known for a very long time. So they, ha they have knowledge and information that we simply aren't accessing. And I really believe, and, and for myself, to keep my health. And the only way I've kept my health is because of the way I'm eating and the way I'm thinking. Um, I chose a really tough life at least up to this point and the purpose of that i died and i went to heaven at nine and they told me i could stay or come back what did i want to do because they were concerned about me meeting my purpose and i came back but it was quite the weight on my shoulders as to what that purpose is when am i going to meet that purpose yada 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 this book is absolutely my purpose it, it was such a uh extreme experience to to write up uh, and you know, you're, you're, you're a business owner yourself and developing a business in these times and in America can be really, really challenging. And everything I've done in my business, it's another step. So I'm learning about the marketing and the how to do the publishing part of it correctly. Oh my gosh, it's so overwhelming. And I was going to say the, the research alone had to be, you know, it, quite the undertaking because that's, that's a lot of information to sort through and, and to come up with the 310 pages. That's you know, pretty amazing. Right. I check everything out. And when I got my master's and PhD in holistic health, um, I'm laid up. I, I had had a person totaled my car. So I'm laying on the couch with my mu music stand, reading my books. <laughs> I'm determined not to waste my time while I'm laid up and to do something. That was the most amazing education. And it's really sad that our country has shut down so many of these schools. And this school also got shut down. It would not accept government money because the moment government money gets involved, then the government has controls and they set the rules for your school and they kind of take over. Well, this school wanted to be able to provide the information that really helps people and aids people. And it was a phenomenal education. And on top of that, you know, I, I go overboard with my research. I love finding that little tidbit and, and discovering how it all works. Uh, and I really believe this book was very much meant to bring to the public right now. So many people, especially young people, are confused about what's going on in our world. And it's not something to be frightened of, but it is something to be aware of. We have the mega corporations and those that run the world that are narrowing the food chain, narrowing utilities, mm -hmm. narrowing where the profit only goes to them. It, it is what it is. It's been that way for thousands of years. It's not going to change. This book also talks about, <clears throat> at the very end, it talks about PTSD. People, there are so many varieties of PTSD that we get uh, because it's a difficult world and it's a challenging world. And because our brain thinks the way it does, it easily gets stuck in that. And I get that when you have combat and when you have extremes like that, you need professional help to deal with this. The lower ones, like I have a PTS, computer PTSD, and I, and I have computer PTSD because I'm intuitive. The energy messes with my computer a bit. It drives me nuts. Every time I sit down, there's issues. Now I've learned before I even enter my office, 
I'm clearing the energy out of myself, of, of my office. My purpose here is to share whatever I need to share that might help other people. And we learn from each other. Uh, so I'm so hoping this information is something that other people find very helpful in their lives. Uh, I also starting up a new YouTube channel. It hasn't even started yet. I'm just setting it up and it's all about nutrition strategies. So if you connect up, like, like you said, on, on my website at holisticcollaboration.com, uh, sign up on the email and I don't spam people and I don't sell, I, I don't throw the emails out, but there will be tips, one tip, two tips a week that's going to be coming out, some in the book and many that's not in the book because I, it didn't seem reasonable to write a thousand page book. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to yeah. read a thousand page book. <laughs> And then too, I'll also be coming out with an audio of it. But since I'm doing the audio myself, it's after everything gets done, it's at the proofreaders right now. And the proofreader is just doing a spectacular job, which is awesome. They're supposed to catch, you know, something that's confusing. And I'm really thrilled because he's not catching very much. Uh, which is shocking. <laughs> but it's not just because of me. I've had a lot. You can't do anything alone in this world. It's not possible. The chair you sit in, somebody else made. Um, mm -hmm. The office you're in, somebody else built. Uh, so we can't in any way do anything really completely alone. Uh, so we're meant to help each other out. I think it's also part of the agendas to divide people so that we can't help. I'm 64 and there's occasion I come across someone who's so prejudiced against the older people and I don't get it. We have the experience. Uh, at 14, I worked for an old folks home and that's where it became so clear going, oh my gosh, you still got the, the same groupings, you know, the people that lie, the people that, that have gotten stuck in their lives. But then you run across those individuals that are open and sharing and learned and have amazing experiences for us to learn. And our society misses out on hearing those real true stories. Uh, and not exaggerating or adding to, I think that's very important because it's not necessary to do that. Our experiences can be very extreme and we can learn so much from each other. And even with all my, my bang up stuff, there's so many to admire that have more challenges than even I have that rise up to make a difference in the world. And I think our world is coming to a point where the average person is starting to stand up and say, hold it. And we really do have more influence than we give ourselves credit for, but we have to come together for that to happen. Yeah. And I think it, it, it kind of like takes a tribe, you know, like we always say, because right. um, you don't know what you don't know. And like you, I always love learning, you know, more and more things. And for someone like you, like you said, you have someone proofreading it to point things out, because when we get so into our mode, we know it, we understand it, and it may, may be common sense to us, but it could be totally confusing to someone else. So I think it's always good to get that other perspective, you know, to make sure that it's making sense, you know, to people and there's not those questions, or maybe there's not something you need to break down a little bit farther for them. So, you know, and it's, it's, and it's not to say anyone's, you know, less intelligent or anything, it's just we're exposed to different things. We know different things. Um, but if you make it so difficult that it's frustrating for them, they're not understanding, then they're not really learning anything. Well, anytime you do a type of teaching thing, um, you need to, your your audience is so important, and it makes no sense to put that effort into it if you're doing it in a way that they might understand. And it's if it's something that comes easy or you have lots of knowledge about, it can make it difficult on someone with no knowledge. Now mm -hmm. that being said, we are in a world where our research is being narrowed and narrowed and narrowed. There are things I come across, and it's fascinating, and I've learned to write them down every single time they'll be coming out you know they're part of my future work that I'm doing uh, some things that that uh, as time goes on we'll talk about um, but you will I will not be able to find those things now 
and I can hunt and hunt and hunt and they're gone. It's just like if you go on the internet and you hunt something out and, and a natural source and then you come back the next day to find that, you're going to get a list of pharmaceuticals that are going to come up. Mm -hmm. And you may or may not get back to that again. So this is just the world we're living in. And I love this format so that we can start connecting up with each other and sharing with each other. We all learn so much from each other. And, and it's just, it, it just excites me. <laughs> well, I, for one, I'm glad you took the time to do that. And I'm excited about your book coming out because um, I know myself um, trying to learn what to make, what not to make, because my fiance is a type two diabetic and there's certain things that you eat that make it worse or elevate this. And you feel like you get stuck in this loop where one says this is okay, but then this one says it's not. And, or you start trying to do the research, it gets very frustrating and it's time consuming trying to read all those labels and make sense of all of them, um, you know, and keep balancing out and you try to make it so it's pleasant. So it's not so miserable to, you know, to change the diet, to, to have those benefits. It's a, it's a very frustrating process. At least for me, it was. <laughs> it is. And, and because this has taken my, my whole life to do this, it was also being done for myself mainly to condense it down. My, my exercise book, it's an exercise fitness and, and a uh, uh, stretching routine for people with a lot of injury like myself. I did that mainly for me to get my routine in one place mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and, and hope that other people would find that it, it was helpful. It's the same with this book. Um, also too, when you go to research stuff, it is very frustrating because I read studies and I read journal order articles and so forth. And you can find one study that says one thing and something to contradict it. You have the corporations that come out with advertising. They come out with <clears throat> studies that are skewed into the results that they want. Mm -hmm. If you remember, President Trump wouldn't even read studies. Well, that should tell this country a whole lot. I do provide sightings and, and references for people. So if they want to read more, because as you do more and more of this type of research, you start pulling out the people and, and the studies and so forth that have a little more accuracy. And I have done everything I possibly can to be as accurate as possible and straightforward. And it really boils down to something really very simple, eating from the earth and what's real. Now we have taste buds in the physical form. And I do hypnotherapy, past life regressions. I've helped ghosts along to the other side since I was a little girl. And the biggest complaint people that have passed on have is they don't have taste buds. They can manifest anything they want, but they cannot taste anything. And it's very frustrating. So I do believe that it's very important that you do indulge and enjoy your taste buds, but to a point and 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 on rare occasion when i hear somebody say on occasion is once a week no <laughs> it's more like <laughs> once a year <laughs> you know I'm like, i remember your tidbit about the cake and having the birthday cake at the office you know how after somebody's birthday comes up and everybody's trying to cram cake down you to celebrate you know that person's birthday <laughs> and, and, and i feel obligated <laughs> yeah i don't feel i i don't want to eat that kind of cake if i'm going to indulge in a cake i want something really luscious and divine <laughs> <laughs> Right. Not an office cake. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Well, I am glad that you were you I know it's been a long time coming and I'm glad you were able to get it done. Um, so for people that want to get in on that flash sale or the book, what is the best way? For Again, sign, go to my website. website, sign up on the email. You may want to uh, sign up starting tomorrow, the 10th, because 
Uh, I just switched a program that I'm using for my email and I've run a test and it doesn't seem to be sending me the email. So I'm working. <laughs> that's what I'm working on today. Welcome to being a business owner. <laughs> All the learning curves. Ah! <laughs> oh, especially when you change platforms. I've done okay. I just upgraded to Windows 11. So <laughs> <laughs> you know, we, we always have all those little challenges making sure all this still works now right but yeah uh and what about your youtube channel also a link on your I, website I, or? Have, I will be announcing this new youtube tube channel because it's connected to nutrition my other youtube channel is already up and running there's 47 videos out and it's called peace tips and tricks and if you want to find me on instagram that's under sherry's snippets okay well, we will make sure uh, that you or I, one of us, we will get those different connections into the comments for everybody. And I really want to thank you for taking the time for being here and sharing that with us. Because I know not everybody may be concerned about it, but I know a lot of people are getting concerned about it because for a long time we've been putting, you know, fillers and all this different stuff to make everything shelf stable. And then you're trying to weed through, okay, what's causing this and what's causing that. So the world is becoming so toxic that if you don't start taking responsibility for real nutrition and healthful uh, hydration to get into your body and to support your body, your body's not going to be able to handle the toxins already overloaded. Uh, so we have to help our bodies out. We have to help our mind out. We have to find, like I said, to work with each other and to learn from each other so that we can find ways that will manipulate our health in a positive direction. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, that's why I always look for all the different holistic and natural health ways, because I'm not big on the drugs or pharmaceuticals myself. I don't like the you know, the after effects, the fog and everything else that it causes. Yeah, I, I like to enjoy my life. <laughs> when Rockefeller took over all of that, which is what happened, he designed the criteria for the medical community for the most part. And so the education of a medical doctor was designed by Rockefeller and he eliminated all alternative uh, approaches. Now, Rockefeller is rich on petroleum. Well, most pharmaceuticals are what? Based <laughs> in petroleum. Uh, so we have to get wiser and smarter and not get upset or angry. Yes, they have the power. Yes, they have the money. Yes, we are the worker average people that keep the world running. Um, but that doesn't mean we have to give up our power and our ability to create and design a life that we can truly thrive in and have calm and peace and joy in, even though there's chaos going on out here. Right. Because we can't control the chaos. We can control what happens with us and what goes into our bodies and what we choose to do. So. Yeah, people aren't evolving. For thousands of years, when I was a little bitty tiny thing, I looked around and I remember my thought because I flagged certain thoughts to never forget. And that was a thought. Why did I come here? Nothing's changed. Nothing has changed. Well, that's partly because people are accepting what is already there. I think it's time we start standing up and saying, hey, let's start changing some of this stuff. We don't have to settle for the limitations of purchasing tummy fillers and what I call carboplunks. They're just a plunk in your tummy that really provide very little and highly addictive. Uh, we're very visual people, uh, which is a wonderful thing. But an example is like when I see a juicy hamburger on TV, what I'm really seeing is the crap they spray on it to make it look juicy. I'm seeing a pile of flour, which is only sugar to your body, a pile of additional sugar, a pile of chemicals, and a pile of salt. This is what you are putting in your body. And then you add the French fries that are, <laughs> or the onion rings that are fried in chemicals and unhealthy oils. And this is long since known. Just eating a small thing of French fries causes your heart rate and your blood pressure to go up for and thicken the blood uh, for two hours afterwards. 
Wow. Uh, these things are known in science, and yet people turn their head because of the thinking that they've been guided into to be addicted to these things because it's profitable to somebody else. So I think we should get angry and go, you know what? I've had enough. This is not happening with me anymore. Very good points. Very good points. Thank you, Dr. Sherry. I am so happy to have you here today. And we will make sure that we get all of those um, contacts and links in the comments for you. Um, and if you were wanting to change and have a most a healthier, energetic and uh, you know nutrition, then I highly recommend you get on there and, and take a look at the book. Sign up tomorrow <laughs> for her emails. <laughs> Not today while we're fixing the platform. Um, but uh, yeah, most definitely. And I will, I will be doing the same because that is something I am definitely interested in reading and, and seeing. And I think many people are nowadays. Like I said, a lot of people are trying to be more natural and holistic and fix things. So I'm glad to have you here and be able to help them with that. Thank you so much for having me on. It was great. Thank you, Laura. Thank you, everyone. And keep in mind, self-care is not selfish. It's essential for a healthier you. And I want everyone to have a wonderful weekend and we will see you next week with two more wonderful speakers. So stay tuned in the group because we'll be posting those up too. Have Thank a great you. day. Bye-bye.